Hey guys, Madison here. The reaction you're about to see was filmed back in 2021 during a time when I was not uploading videos to YouTube. Long story. But due to popular demand, I've decided to start uploading those reactions here on YouTube in special From the Vault Fridays. I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, Madison here. I made it. I can't believe it. It's been a crazy past not even seven days. Um, <laughs> for those of you who don't follow me on Facebook and Instagram, I was at a convention on Saturday and Sunday. I was at the Alabama Comic Con as a vendor at uh, their artist alley there. For those of you who don't know, I'm an artist. And yeah, it was my first convention in a long time because of, you know, COVID shutting everything down for a while. Um, and it was an absolute blast. I was so excited to get to meet so many people who came up and said hello and bought art. It was awesome. I got to meet some more fellow artists. Yeah, it was just a great time, but I am exhausted still. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of commissions lately. I've been super busy. And I think I've said this in a video before, but I'm also writing my first novel. So a lot is going on right now. And I'm like, whoa, I'm recording this video. Let's see. It's almost 8.30 at night. <laughs> I just got back from the barn. I went to see my horses. Um, so that's why I look like a hot mess. <laughs> my hair just let's not even talk about it um <laughs> but yeah I'm really tired but I am here and I'm excited to be doing this reaction to the sixth sense it was selected by very popular demand nothing else even came close on the poll and you guys are like this is a masterpiece you're gonna love it so I am excited because you guys also spoke very highly of the others which I also greatly enjoyed last week so I am really excited to do another scary movie by M. Night Shyamalan this week. So last week was a surprise when I saw produced by Tom Cruise in the beginning, like credits of the others. I was like, what? I had like an accidental Tom Cruise back to back feature, sort of, <laughs> because I just watched Minority Report a couple of weeks ago. But anyway, that was a happy accident. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to watch this movie. All I know is that Bruce Willis is in it and there is a kid who sees dead people. I don't know how I know this, but I guess it's just so ingrained in pop culture that I know the quote, you know, I see dead people. <laughs> so I am ready to be scared. I'm ready to be freaked out. Let's do this. I'm afraid it's gonna scare me like the others did last week with a jump scare right at the beginning. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Ooh, I love the music already. Deliciously spooky. James Newton Howard, so that's why the music is so good. <laughs> didn't I just have a score from him and didn't he do Minority Report? I think he did. He does such fantastic stuff, consistently. I know because it's Shyamalan that it's gonna have some crazy twist in it, I just don't know what. <laughs> what is this? Oh, okay. It's just a light bulb, everything's fine. Sensing another presence down there. Or maybe it's just chilly. <laughs> in recognition of his outstanding achievement in the field of child psychology, mm. the city of Philadelphia proudly bestows upon its son, Billy. Dr. Malcolm Crow. That's you. We should hang it in the bathroom. The bathroom? You have put everything second, including me. She sounds a little unhappy about that. But she also sounds very proud. Saying that my husband. <laughs> Why do I feel like something's about to happen? Look. Someone broke in.
What is going on? Do you know why you're afraid when you're alone? I do. I do. Don't you even remember your own patience? Possible mood disorder. Now look at me! I waited ten years for you! Dude, it's not his fault how you turned out. But if you just let me try, you just give me a chance. <laughs> Did not see that coming. Holy moly. Okay, we're skipping a year. Wow. And is this kid having some of the same symptoms as the other guy? So he feels responsible to help this kid now? Not fail like he fail like he did last time. Kids quick. I love this music. So mysterious, mysterious and kind of magical. Speaking Latin. My name is Dr. Malcolm Crow. We were supposed to meet today, but I missed our appointment. De, de profundis clamo ad de domine. It's called Latin. Mm. All your soldiers speak. Are you a good doctor? Well, I used to be. I'm gonna see you again, right? If that's okay with you. Well, that was a short appointment. Did he just? <sighs> Ew! Don't steal from a church. <laughs> it's like, gotta be in the top ten of don't think, don't do this thing. <laughs> literally the worst place to steal from because then it's just worse <laughs> it's like taking right. an old lady's purse you know and... <sighs> can I find out what he's saying Ooh. it's spooky That was a great shot. Valley Forge 24. Oh. Oh, <laughs> what are you thinking, Mama? Lots of things. Hey, yeah, I bet. Anything bad about me? Hey, look at my face. I was not thinking something bad about you. Is that his friend? A freak. How'd you like that arm around the shoulder bit? I just made that up. How do you call him a freak? That's mean. Don't stand in the middle of the road, kid. I won the Pennsylvania lottery in the morning. I quit my jobs. Why did you quit your jobs? <laughs> hey. This kid looks so incredibly sad. Want to play a game? It's a mind reading game. If what I say is right, you take one step towards a chair. If what I say is wrong, you take one step back. Your mom went to see a doctor like me, and he didn't help her. So you think I'm not going to be able to help you? You have a secret, but you don't want to tell me. That is an interesting way to do exposition, character exposition right there. I love it. Love it. Your dad gave you that watch as a present just before he went away. He's good. Oh, no, he, he missed one. You forgot it in a drawer. I drew a man. Got hurt in the neck by another man with a screwdriver. I don't draw like that anymore. Draw. People smiling, rainbows. Huh. 
you're nice. But you can't help me. Give him a chance. I do like the tension here of him not being immediately allowed to help him, or not being permitted by the boy to help him immediately. That is really like the other Italian restaurant I asked you to bring. Good. Up. Cole is resisting the call to adventure. So sorry. Crossing that threshold. Time. They're both so similar. Same mannerisms, same expressions, same things hanging over their head. Wow, their relationship has changed, deteriorated. Been a little distant. Happy anniversary. Oh. Late to their anniversary. That's never good. Don't do that, guys. Stop <laughs> looking at me. Did you ever talk to your mom about how things are with Tommy? I don't tell her things. Why not? Because she doesn't look at me like everybody else, and I don't want her to. I don't want her to know. Know what? That I'm a freak. I love the little gray streak of hair. It like hints at his wisdom beyond his years. Cole, I mean. Love it. Or how he's got like one foot in the spirit world, like the dead world, and one foot in the living. I wonder if them getting divorced had anything to do with Cole. Hmm. That's interesting. Is she just now noticing these? <laughs> Have you ever done any free association writing, Cole? Yes. If you could change something in your life, anything at all, what would it be? Instead of something I want, can it be something I don't want? I don't want to be scared anymore. Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought when I first saw them, is that they were self-inflicted, not that someone else did them. I just figured maybe you just wanted to get out and get some air, because you'd seem kind of down lately. No, I'm, you know, I came to see him on Monday. Sure, yeah, it's fine, I'm just, there's... Okay, so I guess I'm gonna get going. What is going on here? Keep moving, cheese dick. <laughs> wow. Can anyone guess what this building was used for a hundred years ago, before you went to school here? Before I went to this school, even. I hope it wasn't an asylum. They used to hang people here. No, uh, that, mm -mm, that's not correct. Uh, Cole, this, this building was a legal courthouse. <laughs> laws were passed here, some of the very first laws of this country. You talked funny when you went to school here. You talked funny all the way to high school. What? You shouldn't look at people. It makes them feel bad. Shut up, you freak! Wow. That just escalated very quickly. <laughs> Woo. A big guy. Wow. You just kept the penny in that hand the whole time. I didn't know you were funny. She knew she loved you from the first time she met you on the street. She'd do anything for you. Oh, no. No, I want her to be okay. I want them to be okay. <laughs> That's stupid. It's supposed to be funny. Is anyone nice to this kid? I'm scared. Is someone out there? Open this door, please. Come on. I can't breathe. It's called Locked in the Dungeon. Oh no. Don't do that to him. No, 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 no. That is so mean. Find your kid. Oh, 
tests would indicate he did not have a seizure. He's doing fine. After some rest, he could go home tonight. There's some cuts and bruises on your son that are concerning me. That's Shyamalan, isn't it? Yeah, those are from school. It is. Something was happening to him, physically happening. Something was very wrong. You haven't told bedtime stories before. Uh, not too many, no. Well, you have to add some twists and stuff. <laughs> OK. That was meta. Once upon a time, there was this person named Malcolm. He worked with children. He loved it. And then one night, he found out that he made a mistake with one of them. He couldn't help that one. And then one day, Malcolm meets this wonderful little boy, a really cool little boy. And Malcolm decides to try and help this new boy. How does the story end? Here it comes. I see dead people. They only see what they want to see. They don't know they're dead. How often do you see them? That would mess anyone up, man. Suffering from visual hallucinations. Paranoia. Medication. Hospitalization may be required. No. And I'm not helping him. You're not helping him? What? You're saying you're failing so far at helping him or you're not gonna help him? You gotta help him. I keep waiting for a dead person to appear and it's gonna freak me the heck out. That poor little puppy. Did that ghost tear holes in his sweater? Or did he do it himself? Because he was freaking out. Wow. I wonder if he does it to himself trying to get the ghost off or if the ghost like literally inflicts physical damage. Oh my gosh, do they have a ghost living in their house? And that's the one who was opening all the drawers and stuff. Dinner is not ready. What are you gonna do? You can't hurt me anymore! Look what you made me do! Ready! Wow. Speak to the animals. I thought the play was excellent. Better than cats. Cats? Never mind. Cole? What? Did you ever feel the prickly things on the back of your neck? Yes. And the tiny hairs on your arm, you know, when they stand up, that's them. That dialogue made the hairs on my arm stand up. <laughs> I don't see anything. Are you sure that... Be glad you don't. You don't want to see it. I don't know how you can fix that. That's literally like a magical power this kid has. He has a sixth sense that other people don't have. How can you get rid of that? He just has to learn how to live with it somehow. I just want this poor kid to have a break, you know? <laughs> His classmate. I'm able to see this thing is broken. No, you need to move to a different apartment. 
You need to tell your mom there's a ghost in the apartment. You need to move. The bumblebee pendant? Why do you keep taking it? It was grandma's. So did you move the bumblebee pendant? Yeah, she's gonna think he's time. lying. If we can't talk to each other, we're not gonna make it. I won't get mad, honey. Did you take the bumblebee pendant? No. You've had enough roast beef. You need to leave the table. No. Go! Man, that was all one take, wasn't it? I just noticed the camera just kept panning back and forth. I think it was all one take. It was great. I love long one takes like that. <gasps> oh. Holy moly. Sebastian, come on. Mama, if you're not very mad, can I sleep in your bed tonight? Baby, why are you shaking? Cole, what's wrong? You have got to tell her. Please tell me. Oh, please. I'm going to freaking cry. <laughs> This is hitting me in the feels, man. What's this? Happy birthday. From you? Mm -hmm. First edition. Wow. <laughs> well, this is too much. Bad feeling about this. Thanks. Don't cheat on him. Be able to talk to my wife again. Like there was no one else in the world except us. What just happened? Who did that? How are we gonna do that? Did he see that? He could have seen that. I can't be your doctor anymore. I'm too psychological. Don't fail me. Don't give up. You're the only one who can help me. I know it. Someone else can help you. Believe me, right? How can you help me if you don't believe me? I guess he did break that window. He must just know about it going on in general, like that other scene we saw. <sighs> you're afraid when you're Benson, why are you crying? Did he have the same ability? Wow, he actually got it on the recording. Oh. You've been running around? You know what yo no quiero morir means? It's Spanish. It means I don't want to die. What do you think these ghosts want when they talk to you? Peace. Acceptance. Just help. That's right. That's what I think too. They just want help, even the scary ones. How do you know for sure? Some of them are kind of scary. Like that lady. I don't. <laughs> I'm scared, y'all. <laughs> oh. Hey! Oh boy. Was he, did he just come out of his house? scared y'all <laughs> do you want to tell me something what'd she tell him what happened <laughs> funeral
funeral? So the girl just died and came to see him? You know, when I went through this with my father's cancer, I just can't imagine a child being in bed for two years. I just heard the, uh, the little one is falling ill now. God help him. Never too sick. Oh, great creepy dolls. You gotta love it. What a creepy bedroom. <laughs> so she had cancer, right? That's what they said. Looked like a hospital bed in there. I love that theme. Am I gonna be bawling at the end of this movie? Probably. It's for you. She wanted to tell you something. Wow, I wonder what was in there. What? What was that? It's time for lunch, Kira. We'll see. And don't say that it tastes funny, you know? I don't like to hear that. Was that her? Is it her stepmom? You were keeping her sick. my gosh that that is so messed up so did she even have cancer and illness or was she just like poisoning her with that stuff oh my gosh oh oh wow that makes me mad that poor little girl wow you know, when I went to school here, there was a terrible fire in the section of the theater. They rebuilt the whole thing. Yeah, I know. Only he who is pure of heart can take the sword from the stone. Let the boy try. Pure of heart can do it. I like that. I thought Tommy Tomasino sucked big time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's smiling and happy. I got an idea how you can. I'm not gonna see you anymore, am I? I think we said everything we needed to say. Maybe we can pretend like we're gonna see each other tomorrow. Just for pretend. I'll see you tomorrow, Cole. Oh, uh, can't you at least keep meeting for a little while? I mean, he's still new at this whole ghost healing thing. <laughs> I feel like he could still benefit from talking to Bruce here. What is going on? Please don't let anything happen to his wife. I was afraid of this. Please don't be it. Please don't let it be his wife. Hmm. Jeez, um, I hope nobody got hurt. Oh gosh, I'm scared it's gonna be his wife and he's gonna need- I'm ready to communicate with you now. Cool to talk to her. You know the accident up there? Oh, the lighting yeah. has changed. Someone got hurt. A lady. Die. Please don't let it be his oh wife. My God, but you can see her? Where is she? Right behind you. Standing next to my window. Oh. They scare me too sometimes. Oh, it wasn't his wife good. Okay. I'm scared. Grandma says hi. She says she's sorry for taking the bumblebee pendant. <laughs> comes to visit me sometimes. 
You thought she didn't come to see you dance. She did. She said you came to the place where they buried her. Asked her a question. She said the answer is every day. What did you ask? Do I make her? Oh. Oh. I'm okay. Why did you leave me? I didn't leave you. I see people. They don't know they're dead. How often do you see them? see what they want to see. Come on. Give me a minute. What? Oh my gosh, I need a minute. <laughs> wow, okay, that is not at all what I was expecting. <laughs> oh wow, that really got me, that got me right in the feels. Ooh, um, wow, okay, so Watching that right after watching The Others, I don't want to spoil it, but I feel like most of you watching this probably saw my reaction to The Others and similar twist, and yet I did not see it coming at all. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm shook. Oh. I got pretty emotional watching The Others, but this just... Wow, this got me on an, on an even higher level in terms of just making me cry and ache, like, oh my gosh, it, I wish I could have seen more of um, Cole helping ghosts, like, we only got to see it one time, and I almost feel like there could be an entire sequel of him of, as, like, a teenager or an adult, like, helping ghosts and solving mysteries, because, like, that dad was shook when he found out what happened to his daughter. Like, imagine the crazy stuff that would happen when, like, Cole solves mysteries and things and reveals the truth of what happened to these people who died. Like, stuff would go down. Drama would go down between these families. And, like, wow. <laughs> you could make a whole series out of it, honestly. Wow. Bruce Willis was fantastic in this movie. Haley Joel Osment was fantastic in this movie. Oh, I forgot. I forgot who played uh, Cole's mom, but she was great. Uh, the woman who played, or the actress who played uh, Bruce's wife was wonderful. Everybody was wonderful. 
wow that was so different than I was expecting like I was expecting a really scary movie and it was scary like when ghosts would appear out of nowhere and just the gruesomeness of seeing their injuries was scary but like it was just a deeply emotional film like wow and like thinking about the fact that he was a ghost helping Cole so like Cole's helping all these other ghosts find closure but this ghost was helping Cole find closure and find healing in his life and figuring out how to move forward. And he had to help Cole, someone like the kid he failed to be able to be at peace and accept what had happened and move on to, to the next world, <laughs> to the next life. Like, wow, th those are the best twists. The best twists are ones that seem obvious in hindsight, but you don't you don't see it when you're watching it for the first time and then when you find out what the twist is you're like oh my gosh it makes perfect sense oh my gosh that was so well done like that that film had a real heart to it oh man see like you can have such a simple plot but when you have really well written and compelling characters and just an interesting premise you can just make a heck of a film oh my gosh that makes me so sad for his wife I was like judging her <laughs> I was like why are you cheating on your husband like give him a break he's been through a lot like you have I was like why won't they talk to each other why won't they just work things out and now I'm like oh my gosh he's dead <laughs> and she's trying to move on with her life oh my gosh I'm sorry for judging you <laughs> oh my gosh that was so good guys wow and him, Cole, talking to his mom about his grandmother at the end and how she says she's proud of her every single day. Like, oh my gosh, that just got me. Wow. Oh man, I, I recognize that I'm putting good choices on the poll in the first place, but you guys, you guys are picking me the right movies to watch. Like, you're, you're picking the right options. I mean, these are just solid. <laughs> these are so good. And we're halfway through October. I'm going to be sad, honestly, when Scary Movie Month is over because these are so dang good. And they're not your typical horror films. Like, these are just the others and this film are both, like, really emotional and really character-driven. And they're not about the, the gore and the violence or just the straight-up scaring you. They're about these really interesting characters and the, the crap they've been through and how they deal with it and how they respond to it. And, oh, my gosh. My mind is blown. <laughs> well done, M. Night Shyamalan, on this movie. Wow. Gosh, I can't wait for next week. Oh, and I can't wait to see what you guys pick. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna put on the poll, but I'm really excited and I'm really looking forward to it. And thank you guys again for watching this video, for voting for this movie. Yeah, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. So thanks for voting for it on the poll and be sure if you're interested in voting on next week's movie, be sure to go to my Patreon and become a patron there and you'll be able to vote on all of my future movie choices. And yeah, it's going to be good. We've got two more weeks in October, I think. So two more scary movies to go and I can't wait to find out what they will be. So <laughs> be sure to come back next week for scary movie number three. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.